All right, hey everybody, welcome to Integrative Rehab Medicine. My name is Corey and with me I have Dr. Sebastian and we're here for just a few minutes to talk about annular tears, leaky discs, and for goodness sake, what the heck a disc even is. You might've found your way to our website. You might be looking at one of our blog posts right now. Uh, and if not, then definitely check out the comments because in the comments and the captions, you'll find a blog post about this exact same topic. Dr. Sebastian, how are you doing? How's everything going on your end of the world? Good morning. Good morning, Corey. Thanks. Uh, doing great. Helping a lot of people with back pain and uh, hope to help even more. I think that you know, the, the purpose of these uh, folks that are watching is to let you know that Dr. Sebastian's a real person. <laughs> this is a real human being. <laughs> and uh, we we really want to just like make it seem like you're you're with us in, in the room. If you were to have a one-on-one -on -one visit either, you know, virtually or in person in Estero, Florida, where uh, the offices are located, we want you to feel like you're getting some, some good basic information uh, so that you can be more informed if you do have a, a, a meeting where you're reviewing an MRI or talking about your health history with Dr. Sebastian or his team. So since we're talking about annular tears, back things, leaky discs, I think it's important to start with what a actual disc is. Uh, a lot of people, I, I've heard it be described as like a jelly donut. I've heard things about hot sauce spilling out, things of that nature. So Dr. Sebastian, what, what is a disc itself and, and what is the, the structure of that disc so we can understand it? All right, so the discs are like these little rubbery structures between the vertebrates. So they line up the whole spinal column and you have a disc between each vertebrae and they allow for movement. They give you some flexibility and allow for the spine to actually turn and move. If you didn't have the discs, your spine would be a straight bamboo. Uh, so the discs, yes, they allow for movement, but they also are unfortunately prone to injuries, which we'll talk about. But the discs have two parts to them. They have an outer layer, which is called the annulus, and there are rings of these collagen fibers. And then there's an inner core called the nucleus, and it's kind of like a jelly inside that donut. And basically a good healthy outer layer, the annulus, maintains that jelly inside. And the jelly absorbs all that pressure from, from any movement of the spine. So whenever you put any t tension on the spine, the jelly and the annulus absorb that, 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 that tension and the pressure. Uh, yeah. So those are the, the layers of the discs. So it's kind of like a shock absorber in between your vertebrae, is that correct? Right, yeah, it's a shock absorber and also allows, like I said, the movement. Dr. Sebastian, what happens when that disc gets injured structurally? Well, number one, you know, what causes disc injuries? And like um, many people think, it's a just an injury when they lifted something heavy or they were in a car accident, but that's not necessarily always true. Everyday activities like bending forward and twisting and twisting can cause these micro traumas to these discs. Over and over, pressure and tension on the discs can actually cause injuries to, to the annulus and make it a little bit frail. Or an injury like a car accident or a lifting injury can injure that annular, that outer layer, and it can cause little micro tears or sometimes large tears. And when that happens, the inside core, the jelly, spills out. And that's like chili pepper sauce spilling out into the onto the nerves and onto other spinal structures. And it causes severe inflammation. And very often these patients come in and they have back pain, sciatica, muscle spasms. They come in all twisted up in a, in a kind of like a scoliosis. Uh, and these episodes can happen over and over. Sometimes people say, every three or four months, my back goes out. And that's when these little micro tears uh, allow the spilling of some of the jelly inside or the chili pepper sauce. And that's that's what a leaky disc is. It's, it's leaking the inner core and causing inflammation. So as these things happen, these ruptures, these injuries, uh, what's the, the path to fixing them, not only like temporarily, but for good? Well, you know, number one, we got to fix the bad habits. So, you know, if you're somebody who constantly bends over and rotates, we got to eliminate those, 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 the things that we do. So uh, as Dr. Stuart McGill likes to call them spinal hygiene. Okay, how do you keep your spine healthy and clean? Uh, so eliminating bad habits and incorporating good habits. But if you do have these torn and leaky discs, uh, there is a good treatment called disc seal procedure where we actually inject fibrin glue into this disc. And what that allows is it allows it to actually seal the disc. Um, 
fibrin glue is a type of biologic glue that's been used for many, many years, over 30 years actually in medicine uh, for helping heal other structures. Like sometimes during surgery, uh, surgeons use it for spleen rupture or other organ ruptures. You can inject that fibrin glue and it seals it and it heals it. Well, we can also use it for the disc and that's where the disc seal procedure really shines. Um, we take this fibrin glue, we inject it into the annulus, which is that outer ring, and that will seal it very quickly within 30 minutes. That annulus is actually glued. And then over months and months, your body actually heals the annulus. So it not only seals it, but it actually heals the disc. And when the annular outer layer is healed, the disc stops leaking. And when it stops to leak, then you no longer have leaky disc syndrome. You no longer have uh, the pain and the body actually heals the spine. And then if you continue your good habits, um, then, then you can potentially get long-term outcomes and hopefully eliminate this for good. You know, when people hear the term like glue, any kind of glue, you know, you're thinking of Elmer's glue or something like that. Is fibrin a natural substance that the body recognizes? So yes, fibrin is actually made uh, from plasma. Well, fibrin is something that's found in our plasma. So when you and I injure ourselves, when we get a cut, uh, when the blood actually spills into that cut, the fibrin is part of the glue that glues that cut together, that along with the platelets. So that is a natural protein that's found in our plasma. So we can actually take that protein, and that's what's used in, in disc seal, take that protein fibrin, uh, concentrate it, and then we can use it to help to glue other parts. So it is a biologic glue, but also a agent that stimulates regeneration. There was a good amount of uh, animal studies that looked at injecting the glue into an injured disc, and then they measured you know, how inflamed the discs were, how strong they were, how stiff. And uh, specifically, there's a study on these 31 pigs. They injured the disc, and then they uh, glued them together. And these, these discs didn't have the inflammation that the unglued disc had. They would have uh, stiffness again, so the disc would actually become strong and, sh and stiff like it's supposed to. So this biologic glue, not only does it seal it, it actually stimulates the body to start healing the disc and the structures within it. Why have we not heard about this before? Like, why are the only things being recommended to us really pain management things like, you know, uh, steroid injections and, and stuff like that? Well, you know, it is a fairly new procedure, uh, but unfortunately, you know, it's not mainstream. And right now, mainstream, like you said, is if there's an injured disc, get a steroid injection, which does nothing to actually help to heal it. And unfortunately, it can actually sometimes slow down the healing or it can make the structures even weaker or, or less healthy. Uh, you know, pain medications do nothing, just block the pain, but they allow the body to potentially do some healing while, you know, we're controlling pain. Uh, and then surgeries, surgeries go in there and surgeons can take out a piece of disc or they can fuse the spine, which then really affects the whole function and movement of the spine. So fusion surgeries, there's a lot of things that can happen afterwards. Even disc replacement surgeries uh, have been shown to have uh, some potential complications later on where the segments above and below can degenerate at much faster rate. So unfortunately, it's not mainstream yet. Uh, hopefully it becomes mainstream because this is probably the best treatment you can find for a degenerated and torn disc. Yeah. Well, uh, where can folks go to, to learn more and maybe get a discovery call to, to see if it's the right fit for them? So obviously you can watch our videos. We have many videos on YouTube. Uh, you can come to our website at irehabmed.com. Again, it's irehabmed.com. Uh, and schedule a consultation. We are located in Estero, Florida, but we see patients from all over the country, actually all over the world. We have patients coming from Canada, Mexico, Germany, Poland, Italy. So we see patients in virtually, just like you and I are talking right now. Then we can talk about the, their symptoms, evaluate their imaging, their MRIs. And then when they do come in, we do a physical exam and we can determine if you're a candidate for disc seal or not. And very often uh, when you are a candidate and you come down, we treat all the discs. We also use platelet-rich plasma to treat all the ligaments, joints, and muscles to really stabilize that spine, to really treat the whole spinal unit. And then, and then we have you meet either with a physical therapist uh, to really go over the proper techniques, you know, proper exercises to uh, support your spine, proper uh, ways to lift and proper ways to sit. So it's, it's a pretty big and comprehensive approach 
But with that, we find that patients get better and they get better for good and their spine is healthier and they're back to their ha happy lives. Amazing. Well, you saw it, folks. It's irehabmed.com. Check it out. Book a free discovery call and our team will be happy to talk to you and get you in to see Dr. Sebastian and his team. For now, thanks so much for being here, Dr. Sebastian, and uh, we'll see you on YouTube and, of course, in the office. Excellent. Bye-bye.